if you knew it, you wouldn't blame me She real wavy, the bomb we got is crazy On off days, she still be looking amazing Cause she a bad one, you'll never catch her behaving Hey you guys, it's Janai If you are wondering why I have on a whole fur coat, I don't know this is just the level of extra that I feel like being on today. But anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, right now. And if you're not new, then welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I put on and make my lace front wig look natural. So this is the wig. It's, like, a little bit past my shoulders. Maybe, like, it's, like, right here. Um, it was about $60. It's a wig that has all of this lace so that you could part it any way you want. Um, I'm gonna be wearing a side part today. I kind of just like side parts better than middle parts. So, as you can see, I already cut off the lace. Um, I already started to customize it and stuff. I've already worn it before, so there's already like concealer on the part. Um, and yeah, so the wig has, I believe, oh, it has four clips. Thought it had three. It has, it has two on the sides right there and then one in the like front middle and then one in the back and then it has the adjustable straps so as you can see my hair is like temporarily like blackish brownish for just while I'm wearing the wig it's not it's not permanently black actually all of this black back here is still blonde but only right here is black to blend with the wig so yeah so I'm going to be using this concealer brush um, some eyelash glue that dries clear and some um, concealer and a uh, black eyeliner pencil first I'm just going to put the wig on my head of course and match the part up with the part that's already in my head. My hair isn't like as black as it's supposed to be because since it's not a permanent dye, it just washes out. So, and I washed it once. So, yeah, it's faded, but it's okay because I don't want it to be permanently black. Okay, Okay. so before I position the wig exactly where I want it, I'm going to take the concealer brush and the, what do you call this, eyelash glue, and I'm going to put a little bit on here. I could apply it just right on my head, but this is a lot less messy. It goes on white, but it dries clear. So I'm going to lift this and I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and let it get a little bit tacky just like you would with eyelash glue and then I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna to the front so that it doesn't lift up and you don't see a line of demarcation. Okay, so now the part is like glued in place so it won't slide or anything and be noticeable like when it's like not lining up. So, so you can wipe off the glue or use a different brush or whatever you want, but I'm going to take my brush and now I'm going to put concealer on the brush. So now I'm going to 
get this black eyeliner pencil and I'm just gonna like fill in So now, usually, um, there's like a bump, like, it's a little bit raised, like, I want it to be flatter at the top. So this is what the wig turns out to look like. Um, like I said, my hair is not as dark as the wig, which is the only reason why it doesn't blend as well as it should. But as long as your hair and your wig are the same color, it'll blend really nicely as long as you follow all these steps. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, um, just leave them in the comment section. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Bye!